Hi, but this is Hope Channel, Tanzania's lovely program, Praise Forever. I'm having John Magembe today with me in the studio to bless you. I know you have seen him singing and playing some years ago when he was younger, and today he's kind of grown up, and I know you might be surprised. Many people used to see him worshiping and praising God at Mwenge with amazing harps, but today he's here, no longer in the children's choir, amazing harps, but a secondary student, and he still sings. So, Mr. John Magembe, welcome. Thank you very much. How are you today? I'm good. How are uh, you? I'm very fine. In which, which school are you right now? Um, Frey Luis Amigo School in Kigamboni. Oh, in Kigamboni, okay. Yes. Uh, there are any musical platforms there? Mm, some have, but okay. no, not that much. Not that much. Yeah. Some of the time I met you at Kitungwa, uh, was that an ordinary level? Yep, of course it was. And you're now no, in advanced level? No, it's or still an ordinary level. But you... I'm in Form 4, I just switched schools. Okay. Yep. Any reason, if I may ask? Um, I exchanged with my young sister. She went to boarding school and I came to day school. Okay. Yep. Uh, is it related to music that you have to be in day school? Um, not such really but you know house chores and like something like that all right somebody at home all like right something like that all right all right all right <laughs> um so glida and ma is at kitungwa mm, not really but she's another school somewhere Kisarare. Ah, okay so it's not yeah. very far from home mm -hmm. all right um we will be having many to talk about but let's have our first song what's the first song today Mm, count your blessings. Count your blessings. Yeah. All right. Blessings, name them one 
thank you very much after the lovely song. Count your blessings now, uh, Mr. John. If that's not very personal, how old are you right now? I'm 16 years old. 16 years yep. old. And I remember I started teaching you piano when you were nine, if I still remember it, that. It was seven. Oh, that was seven. <laughs> okay. It was seven. Uh, you, were, uh, you were a very enthusiastic student. I remember even you... You tried and played Boogie Woogie. Can, uh, can I hear a little of Boogie Woogie? Wow, <laughs> that is sweet. Um, so, oh, uh, Brother John was very confident with whatever he did those days and he even recorded a video of his song Siko Sita. he even recorded audio of some of his songs and did live performances he even had his own concert in 2014 was that no, in was, December no it wasn't 14 okay it was something like, like 17 19, uh, no it was 2018. And 18. Yep, December. In December. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's really good. And I know your parents must have played a very big role. Of course they have. My father has played a very big role in making sure that I reach till this stage. All right. Mm -hmm. That's very good. And so, friends, I just insist that parents, please, See what's in your kids and make it nurtured to a level that they can stand on their own and praise God. Amen. So uh, what is our next song today? Our next song is Thanks Lord I Am Free. All right, all right, mm -hmm. all right. Thank you. 
All right, thank you and welcome back. Now we are free and we are still carrying on with today's program. Now I want to know, uh, when did you begin singing? I began singing when I began started and when I began talking. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was told and because I had no sense of mind that time, but my mother told me that when I started talking, I started singing. Okay. And I was singing the old songs. And when my grandma heard that, and he wasn't pleased, but he was mm -hmm. pleased with my voice. Okay. So he took a hymn, a Swahili hymn, <coughs> and taught me one song. Mm. What was that song? Mm, number 12, Sifu Mungu. Sifu Mungu Anema. Okay, okay. Yeah. From Nyimbo za Cristo. Mm -hmm. All right, that's very good. That's very good. And do you remember your first teacher in your childhood when you just began talking? Mm, not really. Um, first musical father. teacher? No, maybe my father. Okay, did you get inspired to sing from someone you knew? Mm, yeah, it's people I knew. Okay. The, the way I was growing up, I, I saw many people singing. Luckily, my father's brother taught Magomeni choir. Okay. Isaac Kambira. Okay. Yep. Taught Magomeni choir and like our family, our clan is like singers, singers. My father's uncle now is taught Moenge choir and Kibaha choir. Okay. So even my grandma is singing. So it's like that. Our family is singing and uh, except my <laughs> father. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why he doesn't. Uh, so I got okay. inspired by that. I also got inspired by some people who told me at that age, I was six, seven. Yeah, I was seven to join the Mwenge Choir. Okay. Not the children's choir, <coughs> mm -hmm. the adults' choir. Okay. And my dad was like pleased and I joined. But due to the childness I had, my voice started becoming weak. Mm -hmm. It started singing like a choir, not like a soloist. Okay. So. <laughs> I withdrew and started training with teacher Daniel from Ilala. Okay. Mm -hmm. He trained me and my voice is now. All right, strong. Strong. That's very good. And I remember one day um, when I just got to, go to their home to, for a piano lesson, I found him listening to Don Moyne's music. By the way, I advised his dad that he should listen to Don Moyne's music and not choir music because he chose to, to sing as a solo artist. So he was listening and following and sometimes he followed what the back vocalists sang. Then the father, I remember, just told you, you stop what you're doing. <laughs> you deserve to be a solo artist. You sing Don Moyne's part and don't sing the back vocalist's part. Mm -hmm. So uh, I know it, it built you into a strong solo artist even today. Of course it did. All right, that's very good. Parents, I just insist you again and again, please play your big role to your kids to be uh, better servants in God's vineyard tomorrow. And now we are going to have another song, third song, am I right? Yep. All right, what's the third song today? Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling. All right, that's a call to everyone, and let it bless you.
all right thank you now we're back for more conversation uh do you remember one of your sweetest childhood moments um was my concert yeah wow my concert all was right. one of the sweetest moments okay because the like the members the members who came to sing in my concert some were from uganda some were from kenya and mm -hmm. some of them from Mwanza. there were special guests mm -hmm. so those groups of singers my father made like a tour for them for the both three places kenya uganda and tanzania okay but unluckily the uganda people came late mm -hmm. so we took the kenyan people the kenyans and the tanzanians from Mwanza. Mm -hmm. we went it was in Mwenge, mm -hmm. somewhere Kuala Lumpur, okay. and we went till Kigamboni mm -hmm. to our church where mm -hmm. we usually worship, Kigizaulole. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They sang there, interacted with people, mm -hmm. then we came back here and they enjoyed it. And I also enjoyed singing okay. in the car. And <laughs> that was, was a good moment. It was a very good moment. And um, out of curiosity, one of the worst moments a memory from your childhood one day i went to perform in ilala church and i was like missing the chords every time okay missing the chords some a song you high yeah from the nimbo za cristo mm -hmm. yeah i was missing the chords so much <laughs> and i was like what what did i do okay yeah well days are not the same but <laughs> I just find that uh, your memories are both musical from the from the worst part to the good part they just both musical. Mm. All right. And uh, um does your sister sing? Of course she does. Okay. But she doesn't love singing. She sings but she doesn't love singing. Mm -hmm. She loves reading books. Okay. She's a very good reader. And All right. My father is emphasizing her to read books and read and read. Mm -hmm. to get more knowledge no uh -huh. research no right to speak that's so what yeah. <laughs> that's true that's mm -hmm. very true all right that's good and now uh, um i want us to have our last song today uh -huh. uh, what's the last song today love will be our home love will be our home just like your home is full of love how well, friends now we are going to have a last song love will be our home he used to sing it in wedding occasions and now he's singing live right here. Cause love will be our own With love our hearts can be a family Then hope can bring this family face to face And though we may be far apart Our hearts can be as one Together there, 
Brothers and sisters, thank you for watching Hope Channel Tanzania's Love You program, Praise Forever. Thank you for watching John Magembe today. And now you must be having a call to other musicians, and especially those who are um, beginning singing when they are still young. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please say a word. Um, to the firstly to the parents, mm -hmm. the parents should emphasize their kids in any talent they bring up, any. Mm -hmm. I don't say singing, I don't say playing piano, mm -hmm. any talent they bring up. Just like my young sister who is a good reader, mm -hmm. my father is emphasizing her to read, and my mother also. So if your child is a good reader, emphasize him or her to read so much. Good pianist, emphasize her to make practices, okay. and don't let her down, and when he asks for something, even if it's too much, it's too much costful, mm -hmm. try to find a way, find a polite way to tell him or her mm -hmm. not to break his or her heart. Mm -hmm. And to the other musicians and other musicians, I have one word. We serve our God, mm -hmm. not anyone else. Yeah, sure. So then don't let anybody speak of you. Mm -hmm. You are serving God. Yeah. You're not serving people. All right, that's very good. And thank you uh, for taking your time watching Praise Forever. My name is Cheko Mangombe, and I had John Magembe blessing you. And now I should say bye-bye. <laughs>